Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima. Excuse the video quality if it's a little bit off, but this, I had to wipe my phone because it was a piece of shit. So it's, um, yeah, it's a little bit strange right now. I don't know if it's, um, this quality's right. But anyway, let's just have a look at, um, Men's Room Mayhem. You can turn off the music, the sound effects, but I wouldn't do that, it's actually kind of cool. And you get leaderboards. Yeah. You know, Wow, <laughs> some of these scores are actually quite high. And there's a there's a lot of different levels, but I'll get into that. So let's just hit play. You get normal and blitz mode. Let's just do a game of normal mode first because this is the main mode of the game. Um, if we move to the left and right, you can see what levels you get. I've unlocked three so far. You need to complete objectives to unlock levels, and there's a fair few. There's like eight levels, so there's a fair bit of um content to go through here. Let's just get started on this level. Yeah, for those of you wondering, those of you who guessed the very last, very first announcement of this game, yes, it is a flight control clone, but it's actually quite a good one. And that's, um, that's a good thing. So, you got these three objectives here. There, I have one problem with this game, and that's the objectives. It's not like Jetpack Joyride, where you can finish the objectives and then get, um, start on... Oh, well, actually, no, on Jetpack Joyride, you had to quit the game to get new objectives. But yeah, you can't finish the objectives and then get new ones in the middle of a game. You have to quit out of the game to get a bunch of new ones. That annoys me because you're constantly quitting out and coming back in. So here we got... Get 10 hands wash bonuses, get an etiquette bonus, and reach wave 3 without any fights. Well, let's give it a try. Wave 1. So what do we have here? We've got... People coming through these doors up the top, you tap and drag to guide them to the urinals or the toilets, depending on whether they have that sign above their head. Then you can either send them straight to the exit or send them to the sinks to get their hands washed. Then you can send them to the, um, to the exits. And this guy here needs to use the toilet, not the urinals. That's a near miss bonus, because if people collide in this game, they get into fist fights. I don't know what it is. Like, are they afraid of touching wieners or something? That's gonna come back to bite me on the ass. I'm just gonna send this guy straight out and show you up. Etiquette bonus. Yes, there is actually um, urinal etiquette. If you put people with a urinal on either side, like on the left free or on the right free or whatever, you'll get a, um, an etiquette bonus. However, strangely, it'll, it'll, it'll get the, you'll get the etiquette bonus even if no one's using a urinal, as long as there's somebody else in the room. And if you have people in the room when the um, bonus time comes up, you'll get a points bonus for that. Then you just got to rub everything. For bonus points. I'm sure I'm going get, to get some people to get into a fight soon, so I'll be able to show you what, what that entails. Okay, here's a cook. I'll send him to a urinal. The music's really nice what it is and um the club music i'll play on the club once i get some objectives done but yeah the club music is actually really good it's um and the graphic style of this game is actually really impressive well no nah, i shouldn't say impressive i should say something more, more along the lines of very good oh look this is an old man the old men move me the old men the old man moves really slowly like he takes ages to do everything. He's one of the special types. It's a, yeah, it's a very nice graphic style. I, I love it. I'll just send you out here. Send the old man to the exit. Where the hell are you going? You, you go back to the urinal. You go here. You get out the exit because you're going to run to the old man. And I'll keep him in because you get a bonus. With the more people you have in the room at once, the more points you get. So if you have three people in the room and someone washes their hands, you get three times the score multiplier. So there's a lot of strategy in keeping as many people in the room as possible without any of them getting into fistfights. So it's a really interesting system for what it is. I've completed two of my objectives so far, now I just have to wash a, a few more hands and I should have all three of my objectives.
generally it's a safe idea to assume that everybody that's coming in, except for, say, a woman, because you do get women in this game for some reason, um, women tend to use the toilets all the time, but it's generally safe to assume that people are going to be going for the urinals. Alright, so I'm just going to get these two into a fist fight just to show off how it works. Oh yeah, that guy that's got a timer over his, over his head. you gotta got to solve that nice and quickly, otherwise shit happens. <clears throat> oh. Oh, and if you see a fight, you can tap on it to break it up pretty much instantly, but... I'm not sure what use that has. Maybe it's something to do with, um... Maybe it's something to do with scoring, maybe just keeping me out of the way. Alright, so now you've got those two splats on the floor. You get five splats and then another splat and you're dead. And in the bonus mode, that's where you wipe it away. So basically, when you hit the bonus mode, you get a bunch of, um... You get the opportunity to move along, to, um, to clean out your lives and move along. Alright, so now that I've completed all three of my objectives, I'm going to stop the game and move to another level. Because I've just unlocked a new one, apparently. Yes, I have. The drunk guy can't control his walking speed, so you'll never know how fast he'll move. Then you've got the woman who needs to use toilets and actually stops guys in their tracks. Got no idea. Yeah, that's the mayhem meter. There's a trophy in this game for surviving th three waves, I think it was, with all th with sudden death. So, basically, if you get into one fight, you lose. So, so, so there go my, uh, my objectives. Complete a single wave without any mayhem. Get 15 hands washed and get 4 etiquette. Yeah, this is the one that they show, um, the level that they showed off in the original screenshot. So, let's see, where are you going, mate? You're going to... Alright, I'll send you to one of these urinals. Every level has a defined entrance and exit, so you've got to keep the entrance and exits clear. Meanwhile, yeah, y you get the idea. It's a really well-designed game. It's actually kind of... It's fun to play. Hello, bikey. It's really fun to play. It's got all the levels add a bit of tactics to the whole thing, and it's just a lot of fun. Not to mention the high scoreboards. Great, the drunkard. Get over there. You take that path there. And the nice thing is, you can actually plan out their routes while they're in the middle of an activity. So if they're washing their hands, of Jesus Christ, you get on the do not call list. And the <sighs> okay, anyway. Alright, sorry, I'm back. Where was I? Yep. Two guys watching the hands. This guy needs a toilet. Wait, no. Hold on, hold on. Let's keep them all in for the, for the point bonus. Yay! Drunk and disorderly. Yeah, you get a trophy for all the special people that you serve. So, like, you serve the woman, you get a trophy. You serve the old man, you get a trophy. And, yeah, rub to clean. I'm stupid. <laughs> I, 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 I don't really care. This game isn't really going to go anywhere, is it? Alright, yeah, but I'll just... I'll just duck out of the game now and play a little bit of Blitz mode. What do I think of this game? Well, this game is 99 bloody cents. I'm not going to complain about a game that has this much variety, this much... And a good improvement on the gameplay... For nine, um, on the gameplay of flight control, for 99 cents. I uh, seriously, I just can't complain. It's a dollar 40, I think, if you're playing like. It's a yeah, it's a dollar 40 if you're not PlayStation Plus, and still, that's pretty pretty good price for this sort of game. Yep, that's a woman right there. <laughs> God, I say that like I don't know who a woman is. Okay, get out now, woman. I'll just clear those slots up. And I'll send this, this guy down here. Yeah, it's nice and tense, that's for sure. 
Especially when you got people moving all over the goddamn place. Yep, there's a fight. Go away. Oh shit. Ah, oh, that, that almost got nasty. Come on. It's about time you all left. Damn it. Should have seen that coming, but I didn't. But yeah, I, I am really impressed with this game, to be honest. I wasn't expecting it to be so well designed, and crap, I didn't even see that coming. But yeah, this is this is fun. It's well worth a dollar fifty or $1.40 or whatever the bloody hell it costs. Like, that's probably something you get from the runoff of not being able to buy stuff at, at specific dollar values on the PlayStation Network. So, I really can't recommend this game enough for a dollar. For a dollar if you're on PlayStation Plus. That's just silly. I'm pretty sure this game's just like a dollar normally on like iOS and Android devices. But in this game you get like the downloadable content. On the mobile versions the Blitz mode is locked away as downloadable content and you have to buy that. But on the PlayStation Network version I don't think that's the case. Yeah. Oh. Bollocks. Uh, okay. You go up there. You wash your hands. You go down there. I'll send you over here, and I'll keep you all in for the point bonus. Time's up. You made it to the end. Your final score was 1662. I don't think I got the bonus for that. Let's see how I did compared to some other people. Blitz mode on this. Huh? Huh? Oh. Wait, what the? Oh, that's a bug. <laughs> Apparently you can't display any five-digit scores over 11,000. That's new. Alright, uh, let's, let's say close ranks. Can I find myself on this leaderboard? No, apparently I can't. Never mind, but anyway, that's Men's Room Mayhem. Apologies for that little interruption in the middle there. But yeah, that's, um, this is a good game. It's well worth the dollar you pay for it. I'm actually kind of impressed. Anyway, this has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.